Um, Your Excellency Nana Akufo Addo, President of uh, the Republic of Ghana, uh, President Jonathan, uh, good luck, Jonathan. Uh, other Excellencies here present. Let me say good afternoon, Africa. Good afternoon, the African Leadership Magazine. Distinguished awardees, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to be here again, to be associated with the sterling work of the African Leadership Magazine and for the unique honor accorded me to present the much coveted Africa Peace and Security Leader of the Year Award. The theme for this year's award, International Leadership, Rethinking Africa's Priorities, is cl clearly resonates with the continent's aspirations for the Africa we want going forward. It calls for a break from the old ineffectual and tired development models that are responsible for Africa's slow progress. And it's a rethink that invariably applies to a remodeling of leadership to match up with the new priorities being demanded by the continent's development. I say so owing to the fact that the agenda on global sustainable development that must be applied by all countries shows that Africa is lacking behind. The argument is that, and there is consensus, that aid, which was regarded as a strong component in Africa's development has lost relevance with the role of multilateral system being questioned. The new African development model should therefore be one that emphasizes on its own regional and internal markets through the African continental free trade area. The current global uncertainties have in fact reinforced this argument and underpin the great opportunities which exist in the strengthening of the regional and internal markets and how such regional and continental solutions will show up governments in addressing their national challenges. Over and beyond the economic arguments is the elephant in the room democratic governance. Africa will need to reinvent its governance system with the empowering of its youth, youth growing population. The youths in Africa's development framework agenda 2063 is to let them be part of its design and implementation. This is where the Open Government Initiative and the Open Government Partnership should be harnessed and implemented with the ultimate objective of being truly inclusive. The way people identify with development policy is the extent to which they feel that their dignity is being upheld and has been the argument, as has been the argument elsewhere, inclusivity means that public policies can be reviewed and governance systems can be questioned. Inclusivity is therefore an absolute and essential component in rethinking development. Rethinking Africa's development and governance priorities also means rethinking the justice systems to guarantee freedoms and basic human and political rights in a genuine and more predictable way. It requires deliberate 
building of institutions and respect of their mandates and decisions by political leadership. These are the bedrock for peace and security, which are inseparably linked to development. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this now brings me to this year's African Leadership Peace and Security Leader of the Year awardee. Anyone who has followed the presidency and the post illustrious post presidency of our awardee will agree that this is a great choice by the African Leadership Magazine. Nothing more poignant about his leadership, legendary, and the peace and security credentials than how he puts his interest of his people and that of the sub-region above his personal interest during the 2020 elections in Nigeria. As the incumbent president, with all the state security and other powers, he presided over the elect presidential elections in which he was candidate in an open and transparent manner. And even when he clearly had problems with the outcome of the pools, he still acceded to the res to he still as he said to and um, respected the outcome of the elections, which was the popular will. In his inspirational words, he said, and I quote, my ambition is not worth the blood of any Nigerian, end of quote. Those words could only come from a statesman par excellence and one whose commitment to the peace and security of his people undoubtedly supersedes everything else. Beyond Nigeria, the peace and security credentials of our illustrious Awadi have been further burnished by his outstanding peace and security and political engagements across the continent, the latest of which was his adroit handling of the Malian situation. And now, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, under the Good Luck Jonathan Foundation is the newly well thought out and much needed West African Elders Forum. He calls it a homegrown credible platform for former leaders and statesmen who will provide mediation and interlocutory role in addressing electoral and democratic conflict in the region. No doubt, peace and security are in the heart and the veins of this year's African Leadership Magazine Peace and Security Leader of the Year Award. Before I do the presentation, I believe that the excellent work that they have been doing to present Africa at its best and against perpetual dimness being presented by other, the other side, Dr. Gami and his fantastic team deserves a loud round of applause. And now ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for the Peace and Security Leader of the Year, President Goodluck Jonathan. Congratulations, Mr. President. Thank you.